So how how so what happened then? I mean, how how did we end up with Video Man then? I mean, um, it was obviously it's a quite a, a small self-contained film. Right. I do understand that. Right. Um, but you know, and the whole subject matter. Yeah. Uh, I actually met a, a video store owner uh, when I, they were still around, and and he was so passionate and uh, almost manic about. Uh, uh, running his business, so I started to hang out with him uh, a lot and, and got to know him behind this uh, facade, uh, what do you say, facade, uh, uh, yeah, his, like the business. And, and then I found out that his, he almost had created a, um, a prison for himself with his big passion and, and I kind of felt a connection to that. Uh, it was really a scary thought for me being in his age. Uh, uh, and, and uh, not having succeeded making films and still he was it was everything he was doing uh, and um, and it, it, I felt a little bit of sadness inside him that that he he was trying to hide uh, so that the combination of a dream chasing a dream and being imprisoned by it I think was a uh, was why I wanted to do it. Does this guy still have a massive VHS? Yeah, collection? he has, he has. So we actually filmed uh, the cellar where Ennio lives, the main character in the film, uh, is his cellar. In a, like an ordinary house, he has rented a cellar and, and trying to build up a video store down there. But uh, it's mostly for people coming there and, and uh, you know, they're buying VHSs and they're swapping and uh, yeah, collectors coming there to meet him. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, because I never expected the whole VHS side to go in the same way as vinyl. No. I mean, but it does seem yeah. that it's actually. Isn't it, is it? Is it going to die? I mean, I don't know. You don't still have video stores in uh, uh, in Sweden, do you? No, no, we don't. We don't. Uh, so that's totally dead. Hmm. But uh, the the VHS collecting side of it is, uh, I think, bigger than ever. Ma mainly because of uh, nostalgic reasons. But I. I I've, I've also visited some people who do have their whole houses done like a video store, yeah. complete with the racks that you turn around. I can't right. believe they've actually gone to that much of an effort yeah, to yeah. recreate it. So there's obviously something that I'm actually, we are actually missing about yeah. why they like this so much. Right. But of course, that's what the film's about. It's about yeah. also being in, having an addiction right. to something. You know, yes. Of that type, I mean, and also you obviously have the whole alcoholism side as right, well. Right, right. So it's all about addiction. Yes, that's completely right. Mm. That's the under the surface real theme of the, of the film. As many see it as it's uh, just a fun 80s pastiche uh, uh, with the music and, and, and uh, love for the 80s, but that's really what it's about. It's about uh, addiction and the loneliness it creates. And you've got everything in there that the Jello lover loves. I mean, you've got the black gloves. You've got you know, those sort of uh, right. reference points. I mean, so it, it's a playful. It's a playful script. It's it's good fun, even though it's got a serious intent. Right, right. It's actually got a real sort of level yeah. of like if you're a, a buff, a Jello buff, you'll yeah. know exactly yeah. what's going on. Right down, as you say, to the arguments about who's best, Fulci or Argento. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So there is that. I mean, it must have been a great, great, great. You know, fun writing was yeah, good for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, it was a. I've always been in love with this piece. I've written a, quite a few scripts, but this one also f felt like uh, this is going to be my first one. Mm. Uh, since it's, it's like the basics of, of me and, and uh, my love for, for movies. Mm. Talk about the actors, because they're really great in it. Stefan Salk, I mean, right. wonderful. I mean, where'd you get these guys from? And, you know, did, and why do they want to do it? You're an unknown. Right. It's a cheap, you know, low-budget film. Yeah. Why, why are they in it? Yeah. Um, Stefan had seen a few of my shorts and, and liked them. Uh, so so we, we got in uh, touch and, and, and uh, he said, do you have, do you have, have anything else for, like, we could do, try out something? And then I uh, thought directly that he could be... Ennio, the video man. So I sent him the, the old script I had and I said I'm going to rewrite this but just take a look at it and if you like it um, let's talk. And he, he loved the script uh, and, and, and the character. So basically he was on the train uh, pretty early on. It was mm. me and him. And after getting him, because he's quite famous in Sweden, he hasn't done, it's quite kind of a 
come back for him. And that's, uh, I really like that as well, because late 80s, early 90s, he, he was really great uh, doing lots of stuff. And then he got into more action-based stuff that I'm not so fond, fond of. But I wanted to get, bring back that old Stefan, uh, where he was more like crazy and funny and uh, uh, more, um, uh, I, I think he had more levels at that point. So, so that we had much discussion about that, that. Now we're going to do something totally different from what you've been doing the last years. Uh, and also he has, an, he has made a lot of theater lately. So it was a while since he was in front of a screen. So I think that was also important for him to... Mm -hmm. 